Hey, I'm Joe Stedman. I want to talk to you about a uh, game I got from DBG Games. Dan Verizon Games is a solitaire uh, game. I mean, you can play it by yourself without the use of a computer. Board game, play it by yourself. And it is Phantom Leader, um, Vietnam War. Uh, you're taking on the role of the either the Air Force or the Navy, and you are going to be bombing different targets over Vietnam, attacking targets. And uh, it's a lot of fun from that uh, one of my favorite solitaire games is B-17 Queen of the Skies and this is kind of like that in a way but it's more modern it's jets and let me show you what the game comes out alright it comes with a full color rule book with uh, lots of examples breakdowns of different cards um, pretty comprehensive rule book glossy like that it comes with a player log sheet a card stock that you're supposed to take in, in Xerox tactical display where you put your target in the middle shows your different approach angles um, kinda like B-17 you have the, the B-17 in the middle and you put different stuff that come in this one you're gonna put SAMs or MIGs and things comes with a cardstock cheat sheet going over your some of your rules so you don't forget a um, whole bunch of different campaign cards and on these cards it shows you shows you the map of Vietnam the different targets you'll be going after, the different campaigns, victory points, special rules, overview. Down here you're keeping track of your, your recon, your intel, and your political points. Politics are a part of this because in Vietnam we know that politics had a big influence on what happened over there, um, what was going on back in the States. Then there's your cards, there's target cards. These are good high quality thick cards. Targets are going to show you different targets you'll be going for from AAA sites, to truck parks, airfields, you name it. Random events, since you got a deck of random events, there's pick one up. B 52 strike, um, predictable tactics, rules of engagement. So there's good events, bad events. Then there's your actual fighters. Each of your pilots will have a plane. And they're named uh, like by their like uh, Maverick or whatever, Splash Dog, Pigeon, Chiller, Irish, you know, Surfer, Cajun, and they're either Air Force or Navy pilots. And they're going to have one side for when they're rookies. The flip side will be when they're more veteran. And the cards got all kinds of information on them um, that you'll use during the gameplay. Very uh, easy to use. And it comes with a whole bunch of cardboard counters. A whole bunch of cardboard counters uh, keep track of things during the game, whether that be uh, enemy MIGs or SAM sites or your own planes come with counters. And even these will have information on them. The quick reference during the game. And a 10-sided die. Pretty impressive components. This is not a print and play game high quality. All right, I'll try to explain how the game works. Just an overview. Basic sequence of play. First there's the pre-flight and this is where you're going to select the campaign that you're going to play. You're going to select your pilots, what which airplanes you want. You're going to get certain points that you can spend depending on the campaign and you can use those points to, to, to buy things for your plane such as different missiles or airstrikes or I mean or intel or just, just lots of different options. A lot, that makes it a lot of fun you're going to uh, choose your target card you're going to assign your pilots you're going to set everything up the pre-flight and you're going to actually put the weapons on your plane that you want to bring with you in case you're expecting enemy aircraft to be there waiting for you or if it's a strictly ground support so that's phase one pre-flight next is a target bound uh, sequence while you're on your way to the target in this you're going to draw a random event to see if anything happens while you're on their way there. Uh, you possibly have dog fights um, depending on what's going on. So that's on the way there. Then you have your over the target sequence once you're on target. And you're going to repeat this four times. In this you're going to decide how you're going to attack your target. You can have some targets suppress. You can have air cover. You might have uh, events that are going to happen. And this is all spelled out in the rules. But uh, you do that four times, you fly over, fly over, fly over. And then last sequence would be the homebound. 
and you fly home. So you're going to draw an event card for your homebound flight, and then you uh, roll for results, what happened while you're over target, your SAR results, and finally here's your debriefing. In your debriefing you do all your paperwork, you update, you uh, look at and see how you did, you record everything in your log. It takes about 30 minutes or so, maybe a little longer to do a mission, depending on how familiar you are with the game. I like to take my time I like to track everything, um, so that's how I play. A couple neat uh, aspects of this solitaire game is stress points is one. Your pilots are going to accumulate stress the more they fly and you have to rest them. You got to kind of rotate your, your veteran pilots and your rookie pilots. Your um, As your experience goes up, your pilots are going to get better. Um, it adds those things that you like, the, the story-like atmosphere of a what makes a solitary, uh, solitary game good is being able to imagine it like a movie, in my opinion, and this lends itself to that. Another thing is there's a lot of things that can happen. Uh, the random events, the enemy, can, and you never know what's going to happen. Every time I've played, it's been totally different. There's quite a few missions to try out. And there's some optional rules. Um, the rules also have six different levels. Uh, for everything from the rookie pilot all the way to the ace. So you can play it the first time through a campaign on rookie, and then if you do well, you can try it again on level two, going all the way up to the ace level, which is going to be really tough. In the back of the rule book, there's a sample mission. It gives you a blow-by-blow -blow for the how it works out, the whole sequence, which helped me a lot when I was trying to learn how to play. And that's what you should do first. Set everything out, um, set it up, go through the sample mission. That's how I learned to play. So if you like playing solitaire games, which I do, and uh, Vietnam is interesting, it's a good game. I recommend it. I like it a lot. So, so that's Phantom Leader by DVG Games.